Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about the text decoration property. So, text decoration property is used to set or remove decorations from text. So, in the previous video, we have learnt about how to add color to the text, how to add background color to the text, and how to align the text on the browser with the help of left, right, center, and justify value of the property. So, in this video, we will cover the text decoration property. So let's go in our demo section. So here I have file text property dot html file. In this file there is one h1 tag. The content of the h1 tag is code crush outline tutorial. You can change this content. Let's say we want code crush tutorial only. Then we have the h3 tag which has the content text property and there is one paragraph and the content of paragraph is all this uh, data I have provided here. So if I run this HTML file, open in browser, let's save this, let's say I want to have this file here, refresh the page, so see here you can able to see the content of the file. Now what I want to do, I need to make use of uh, text decoration properties. So let's go in our CSS file which is my text.css file here. Let's say I want to add some decorations to this h1 tag. So let's provide the name of element h1 and here you need to specify the property text decoration line. So with the help of this property you can add some decorations of line to the content of the tag so let's say i provide here value overline overline is one of the value and you need to link this css file to your html file so how you do they do this with the help of link tag link and in href you need to provide the name of css file text.css save this file and refresh the browser now so here you will able to see there is one line added here text decoration Overline. If I add the same property to the paragraph here, paragraph tag, text decoration line, say overline, and refresh the page. So, see all the content of the paragraph is getting an overline. Now, what I want to do for this heading tag, there is another value to this tag decoration line which is underline. So overline was applying the line at the over of the text, underline will underline this text. Let me refresh the page. See here you will be able to notice the difference. Another property here is line through. So line th through will apply the line at the center of the text. Refresh the page. See here you will get the line through property. You can also make use of both the lines like if you have line through property as well as underline property underline if I refresh the page see we are getting underline as well as line through you can also specify the overline so you can make use of all these three properties to the same tag so overline is also applied line through is also applied and underline is also applied so that was the use of text decoration line so let's have one value only here let's say underline only and what we will do now so this is my underline property here after that you can also specify the width of this underline here with the help of thickness property which is text decoration text decoration thickness and let's say you can provide your value 12 10 pixel if I refresh the page see here you will be able to get the thickness of line expanded to 10 pixel if I increase the value here to let's say 40 pixel so you will notice the difference 40 pixel is applied here 
so let's have it to 10 pixel only save this refresh now text decoration yeah so we have applied underline property we have also provided the thickness now what we will do we will change the color let's say you want to change the color here so you can specify that with the help of text decoration color text decoration color and let's say you want uh, light blue color here light blue save this refresh now so see color is applied here light blue color is applied another thing you can do here is the text decoration style text decoration text decoration style so this style is similar to what we have seen in the border section where we can provide different style to the borders which can have the value as solid dotted dash let's first see the solid value if i refresh the page so it will be in the solid format as it is already by default another thing we can check here is dotted if i refresh the page see you will be able to see the uh, that style is applied to dotted if i say here dashed then the dashed will be applied so you will be able to see dash here and the another one is double let's save this refresh now so you will be see double uh, decoration style is applied so in this way you can make use of this decoration properties now you have seen we had made use of these four properties to apply the same values or the different variations of decoration property you can have a single value single property and you can specify all these values let's say for text property we want to add some decoration so which was our h3 tag so you can specify your text decoration text decoration so and here you can specify all these values so the required value is always the uh, decoration line that you wanted so let's say you want uh, underline here underline so let's first check so see underline is applied here now what you want to do you want to apply the color here so let's say color i want is green and the thickness i want is 15 pixel and uh, i want it in dotted format so if i refresh this see now the thickness underline is applied thickness is there which of 15 pixel color green is applied and it is in the form of dotted if i remove this dotted then it will be in the form of solid let me refresh it see if i change your color let's say brown so brown color is applied so what is the difference here if you want to have all these properties you can specify them in a different values also like text decoration line text decoration thickness color and style instead of using all these four properties you can also use a single property called as text decoration and you can specify these four property values in a single value so the only value that is required here is underline if you don't specify the underline property like the decoration line here instead of underline overline or line through and you provide other values then it will be not applied because the decoration line property is the required one so if i refresh the page so see brown get removed 15 pixel nothing is applied here so you need to provide here the value of decoration line always otherwise the other properties will not get reflected so i provided here line through so line through it will be in the center so we have provided here thickness let me remove the thickness and the color is applied to brown here let's add another here which is overline so always remember when you are using a single property text decoration you always specify the text decoration line property here otherwise all the values will not get reflected refresh the page so see here the overline is applied and 10 pixel is applied so i want the 
these two properties are getting merged here so to avoid that you can make use of margin here so let's say margin top mm, 12 pixel let's see how it looks refresh the page here you need to specify let me increase the value here 25 pixel Control S refresh now so see the uh, border here is applied little bit low let me increase it to 80 pixel so see so in this way as per your requirement you can make the adjustment so basic things we wanted to learn in this video is the text decoration property so we have seen all these four properties and also how to apply all these four properties in a single property with the help of text decoration so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching